Steve Bannon, thanks so much for coming on. I, you, know, you, you can't kind of help but notice that you were convicted of a crime, which is not actually a crime most of the time in Washington or ever, within the same 24-hour period as a guy who tried to murder a gubernatorial candidate in New York was released with no bail. What are we to make of these two events occurring the same day? Well, as you can tell, the Democrats are completely lawless, and look how they've run this committee. There's no ranking member. There's no minority council. It's not like the traditional hearings that have galvanized the nation in the past. And, Tucker, I think it's one of the reasons that it hasn't really had that big an impact. You know, when they, they interviewed the people on the trial, I think almost all the working class people didn't even know what was going on. Your show, with people like Darren Beatty and Revolver and Raheem, you've done actually more original reporting on what we've got to get to the bottom to. Look, we need a commission or a committee on January 6th. It's got to be with the new Congress, with Republicans in charge, and we've got to get to the bottom of the intelligence failures, FBI involvement, DHS involvement, the intelligence services, what happened to the Pentagon and the, and the National Guard, all of this. All, Ashley Babbitt, all of this, ha we have to get to the bottom of it. And people are going to get to the bottom of it, even to the fact of some of the testimony that was given by staffers uh, in, in mild trial. You know, we wanted decision makers to come over and actually go on record uh, under oath and say exactly what happened here, and they wouldn't. Well, they, they hid it, behind a privilege of which they wouldn't allow, which they wouldn't allow me to. They, the, the, the judge, the time narrow cast us on the executive privilege issue. I, I mean, I've spent my whole life in Washington. I see a lot of acrimonious debates, but the idea you would send someone to prison because you don't like his political views. There's no allegation that you organized January 6th that were there, stormed the Capitol. I mean, this is fully insane. They don't like your politics. They hate your attitude, and they're trying to send you to jail. Did you think this? I didn't think this could happen. We'll start there. Did you think this could happen? A hundred percent, I think it happened. This is the, remember, these guys all thought they were going to change China and, and the Chinese Communist Party. They're taking on the aspects of the authoritarian state and state capitalism combined. This is the, the elites that run this country. This is exactly what, how they want to run it. Remember, Tucker, I'm not new to this. I, I've spent more than any Trump official in intense... Uh, you know, uh, being a witness in the Mueller Commission for, I think, 30 hours, uh, in the House Intelligence Committee, the Senate Intelligence Committee. I had Bill Burke. I had Alex Spiro. Here I had David Sean. I had top lawyers. They wouldn't even let, my, they wouldn't even let it be that I could rely on the, uh, on the opinion of my lawyer. Here they took away every possible defense so somebody can have a defense of law. Okay, that's why we didn't even put on a defense. We just had a closing, had an opening argument and a closing argument. Tucker, this is where they're going. I mean, you document it better than anybody, but no. People have to understand, this is just one fight in an entire process, and that's why it's absolutely incumbent that Liz Cheney's defeated in a couple of weeks in Wyoming by the Republican Party and by conservatives and by MAGA. And then later, we've already got Kinzinger out. We got another member of the committee, I think, is already retired. We got to defeat Loria. But we must have a sweeping victory in the House. And then Republicans have to have the stones to put on a real hearing. And by the way, let the Democrats have a, a ranking member, let them have a counsel, and just get to it. If you look at what Darren Beatty's done on your show alone, it's outrageous what the public doesn't know about this. We, for the good of the system, this has to happen. But in the meantime, you've just been convicted. I, I mean, if the, how do you feel about going to jail? Are you confident you would be safe there, for example? I, I, look, 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 first off, if I go to jail, I go to jail. I will never back off a second. Look, I spent eight years as a naval officer. I've committed my life to this, pro to this program to get this done. I will never back off. I support Trump and the Constitution, and I'm not backing off one inch. If I go to jail, so be it. But look, we've got a long appeals process. Andy McCarthy did a great hit on Fox earlier today. We got a long appeals process. I think the law is with us on a number of, of, of situations. I think some of this is really going to be adjudicated, maybe even higher than the appellate courts. So I'm very confident that we're 100 percent right on the law, but I'm going to fight this all the way. And this is not the only battle we're fighting. They're coming at us on every aspect. Look, they're trying to shut you down. They're trying to throw off Fox anchors. They're coming for everybody. And people have to understand, oh, right now, this is an ideological war, and we cannot lose. The, 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 the fate of the country is over the next couple of years. And if people just want to go on vacation and say, hey, I'll just let it get sorted out, that's fine. But there are just thousands and thousands and thousands of fighters out there to say, we're not going to back down one inch, and I'm not going to back down one inch at all. Did you think during the course of this trial, maybe you should call Eric Holder and Lois Lerner, both of whom live in Washington, and just say, like, how'd you, how'd you beat this? Like, what, what's the secret sauce here? 
the secret sauce is that they're in power. And also, let's be honest, the Republicans have been controlled opposition. That's what has to change. That's for sure. This November, not only do we have to, we have to deliver a crushing blow to this Democratic Party apparatus, but then we have to really govern it. I mean, govern on offense. Every committee in the House has to be an oversight committee. We have to go after the Biden administration, which is illegitimate. You can tell they're illegitimate. Look how the Saudis mock us to our face. Look how the Chinese Communist Party have absolutely no respect. They understand he's illegitimate. We have to get in there in January. Every committee's got to be an oversight committee. And we have to have a real January 6th committee, including to get to the staffers now and see about the lies and misrepresentations they put on national television to defame people. You were gonna, I would tell the January 6th staff right now. Preserve your documents because there's going to be a real committee and this is going to be backed by Republican grassroots voters in MAGA to say we want to get to the bottom of this for the good of the nation. We have to know everything that went on. All the intelligence reports, exactly what went on, what was Ray's involvement, what was FBI asset involvement. I mean, just stuff. Look, just just go to Revolver and see Darren Beatty on your specials and when he's on your when he's on uh, your the Tucker Carlson show. Right there alone leads you to all types of inquiry we have to get to the bottom to. Yeah. If, you know, Republicans win and Mitch McConnell's still running the Senate, you've got to wonder, like, is it, is it even worth it? Uh, but I'll, I'll let you and the political guys uh, fight that battle. Steve Bennett, I appreciate your coming on tonight of all nights. Thanks very much. Good luck. Thanks, Tucker. Appreciate it.